I've washed my hair. I currently have a microfiber towel on it. Uh, uh, my hair still feels uh, pretty wet actually, it's, it's not, um, it hasn't dried as much as it would do if I had dried it in a normal towel. So I'm just going to put some Moroccan oil in my hair. I actually got this free <laughs> after I bought the Dyson hair air wrap, but for the amount that it costs, like, it should be free. <laughs> I feel like the least they could do is put a little bit of Moroccan oil in there <laughs> to say thank you very much for for spending all your cash. Okay, so it smells nice. Mmm, mmm. So, the Dyson Airwrap, let's get into it. One of the things I absolutely love about the Dyson Airwrap is that it comes in this box, and that's great. I mean, my hair dryer generally just lives on the floor. I trip on it, I step on it, and it's really annoying. And what I quite like about this is that you can pack everything back up and it lives in this little cute little box, which is like a, it's like a leather bound box. And inside, each thing has its own separate compartment. I'm not sure if you can see that like this. And it just makes storage for it just really, really, really easy. And that's a huge plus point for me. They have two directions in each uh, barrel curl, basically. So one that goes wraps this way and one that wraps this way. So because I like to have as big a hair as I possibly can get, what I'm gonna do is curl basically half my hair going this way, and then the front half going that way, and that way it kind of like adds more volume. I saw that on a video, so I tried that and it worked. Now, I relax my hair. I relax like the first two inches of my hair no more than about three times a year. I try to do it as least as possible. The front of my hair, I have actually recently done it. So this part here is actually gonna stay quite straight, which is what I wanted to do. But if I hadn't have relaxed it, I probably would actually have to blow dry the front here ever so slightly with the straight part before I could do the curl because the curl cannot make this part smooth and flat and sleek. In fact, the back here, I'm actually not gonna be able to do the root very well so what I'm going to do is before I start with the curler I'm actually going to unclip this and actually go straight in with this attachment first just to do my roots I'm keeping quite a lot of tension on it as well just to try and make it a bit smooth right so now I'm going to un unclip this attachment pop on my big barrel curl go in this way <laughs> There we go, let's turn it all the way up. It, this is actually hotter, I think, than the other attachments, the kind of like straight brush comb attachments. Okay, so then when I've got to here, what I'm gonna do is take it off before I try and pull the curl out. And it gives you that, see, it's kind of cute. I also wrap the curl and help it a little bit. The other thing you can do as well, if you want to make the curl kind of stay in place for longer, is put it on the cold setting. So move, there's a, there's a button just here, move it down onto the cold setting. So I've just moved it onto the cold setting now. So now it takes a minute or two to cool down. And just keep it on that cold setting for a minute before you switch it off and then take it out of your hair. Yeah, you see that one's a bit more defined. So. <laughs> Okay, and take it out. There we go. You see, and it actually, what I quite like about it is that it actually keeps my hair looking shinier, I think. Maybe that's all in my head, but I think it looks a bit shinier. Right, so I've just done this curl here, but this part of my hair was already quite dry. And as you can see, the curl just, I don't know quite what's happening at this bottom part. So anyway, I've isolated this curl. I'm gonna wet it again. I'm just gonna spray some water on it brush it through and do it again and just see if it makes it any better. Hopefully it will, I think it will. And that's the thing about this particular, um, the air wrap system is that you have to use it on hair that's damp. And I didn't get that the first time that I used it. I was like, well that's bizarre. There's no way it's gonna make my curl smooth. I should have read the instructions. And so I did my whole hair and I was like, mm, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I don't know, like, where's the receipt? Because I actually might have to take it back. 
And then I watched a few videos and then I was like, oh, now I get it. Yes. Wow, you see? And the difference is, is that's really immediate. Yeah. The end of my hair is actually still wet, so I'm just going to have to do that one again. But it really just doesn't work on dry hair, so... Yeah, that's so much better. Woohoo! We have progress, people! Now, the Air App does automatically take the hair in. I just like to help it along a little bit, but I'll show you what it looks like if it just does it. Switch it off and take it out. And there we go. And I'm getting this part, the curl all the way down to the root, so that's why I'm not using the other attachment first to make the, that part of the root straight. So I'm just going straight in with the curler at this point. So there we go. Ooh! I feel very curly still. Okay, so I wear my hair in usually like a pass and usually about there. So I'm going to continue bringing this side over, curling in this direction. Gosh, my directions are horrific today. The position that I've got the curler in now, I've got it all the way up so that it gives me as much volume at the top of my hair as possible. Okay, switch it again onto the cool setting. No, wrong button, again, right, here we go, right, that's it, on the cool setting, it's an arm workout, right, it gets quite hot at this point, because I've got it so close to my scalp, it does get very, very hot, so I'm just like giving myself a breather, put it off and take it out, there we go, Now, I'm doing this side this way, so I have to change over the attachment again. Okay, so now we're just going to do this front bit. This is probably the most damaged part of my hair. Well, I'm not sure if you'd even call it hair, more like hook, because there's virtually no hair left. <laughs> Hashtag issues after 40. So, I just want to loosen up these curls slightly because they are uh, a little bit too... 280s actually for my liking. So I'm gonna flip my hair round, upside down. There we go. Flip back up. Okay. So that's definitely made it bigger and it's obviously really, really loosened the curl. It's probably made it even look even more 80s now actually. <laughs> so there it is. There's my Dyson Airwrap hair. I think overall I would say that I really love the concept of taking out a step so that I don't have to dry my hair and then curl it. That is, that's amazing. Um, I also really like how light and airy my curls feel and my whole head feels. Um, overall, would it take over having an actual hair dry and a curling iron? I don't think so. So usually when I blow dry my hair straight and then use the curling iron, my curls usually last for about four days. Four days, it's still looking, it's still looking kind of good, I can still go out with it. Whereas this, this is the third time that I have done my hair with this, and I would say that even by tomorrow, tomorrow evening, give it 24 hours, and it's just going to start looking just really messy um, and you won't be able to see as, as much defined curl, I think, as before. However, I will say that when I did my hair with this last time, Jordan was like, your hair looks amazing. And I was like, really, you think so? And he really liked it. So if you want that blow dry look, that kind of blow out look, then the Dyson is great for it. It will not replace my blow dryer, I will say, or my Hot Tools curl and iron. I'm glad that I now have another option to add to my hair routine. And that, that's a winner for me. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.